There are countless conspiracy theories, which have been created over the years, regarding not only the coldest, but also the most remote, unforgiving continent on Earth, Antarctica. Countless tales of ancient civilizations buried in the ice, preserved like something akin to Pompeii, quite possibly complete intact ruins of an ancient, advanced, now lost civilization. Their lifestyles, buildings, even entire cities are claimed by a number of fringe researchers as a real reality. Cities buried miles beneath the ice in a state of perfect preservation. Although we feel this may be an unlikely possibility, there could indeed be undeniable evidence of a past existence still buried under the ice, if indeed they were there at all, for one can never really be sure about the Perry Reese map. Yet today, this is a very unforgiving place, even sparking the inspiration for arguably one of the best science fiction movies of all time, The Thing. Stories of UFOs crashing into this incredibly remote landscape, some in which we have covered in the past, focused in upon by the channel due to the fact that an expedition was indeed made to a particular anomaly, to a feature one indicative of a high-speed crash into the frozen tundra. This site was successfully traveled to within what we presume would have been a mobile laboratory, clearly undertaken by a well-equipped group, one who clearly didn't expect others to have spotted the site via satellite also. So they can clearly be seen via satellite imagery arriving at said crash. A tremendous effort to make, at tremendous expense, thus, a strange effort for any known human-built craft, unquestionably made at great expense. Illogical for a man-made craft, even that of secret technology, but for an alien craft, such efforts could be logically argued as a realistic motive for whoever this team was funded by to make the mission to the site. And there are, indeed, undeniably, some rather intriguing stories which still hover around a number of still classified, still unreleased confidential files regarding events within the Arctic Circle. Claimed by a number of individuals who also claim to have been a part of said mission, a mission known as Operation High Jump was an event during a battle within the Arctic Circle with what could only be described as flying saucers. But alas, Due to the fact that Americans have never publicly released any details regarding the operation, we can merely speculate. However, a story which surfaced on ancientcode.com, a website we have long supported as a superb source of antiquarian knowledge, a story accompanied by what we think, you will agree, are some of the most incredible images ever taken of UFOs, specifically unexplained anti-gravitational craft in flight ever captured. Available thanks to John Greenwald from The Black Vault, who in turn received the incredible images from researcher Alex Mistretta. According to the website, quote, The photos here displayed are evidence of a close encounter between forces of the United States Navy and unidentified flying objects on the edge of the Arctic Ocean in March 1971. End quote. Are we witnessing the destruction of anti-gravitational alien craft? An alien encounter? Or, quite possibly, weapons testing events targeting reverse-engineered alien technology? The images are, according to said sources, from the mission USS Trepang SSN-674. Our postulations as to what these images reveal are based upon our own logically presumed direction in which American and many other advanced military nations would take if one were presented with a crashed craft powered by said technologies. These military bodies would indeed pursue the reverse engineering of said technologies, then, secondarily, develop defense systems which were effective upon said technologies. These are, of course, merely mystery history's ponderings in regards to what these images could truly be showing us. And, of course, said hypothesis could indeed be incorrect. Yet regardless, the question remains, then what do these images reveal? What are pictured within? Regardless of the purpose of the mission, we find the possible theories surrounding the photographs highly compelling.